So one of the reasons why I decided to call this channel the Tesla Experience is because this was truly like a diary of me documenting my Tesla experience. And one thing that I've alluded to many times in the past with other videos and on the EV podcast that I do is that I get a lot of reactions of me inside or near affiliated with this car. I talked about how people stare all the time because it's true, it happens daily. And I've alluded to sometimes being cussed out or getting, you know, the middle finger or things that aren't so favorable. And I kind of want to talk a little bit more about that. One thing that I have experienced inside this car is that I get stared at like I don't belong in this car. That I don't fit the stereotype of whatever that should be on however people consider a Tesla owner to look like. I look like some kid who has a mohawk, wears flip flops and goofy shirts and stuff. And I don't fit the description of an expensive vehicle owner. I have been accused of actually downright stealing a car, which shows the ignorance of people who don't know about Tesla and the security as a whole. But the idea that you need to look a certain way, portray yourself a certain way to have a car like this is so dated and ignorant. It's just completely, it blows my mind. I wouldn't say it rubs me the wrong way, but it kind of shows the expectations that I guess people go with when you become a Tesla owner. Yes, most of the time I get people complimenting me on the wrap, nice car, do you mind if I take a photo, blah, 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 knock yourself out. So yes, this is who I am, this is how I look, and this is how I might dress from time to time. I might have a beard, I might have a mohawk, I might be wearing flip-flops when you see me get out of the car. But what I realized is that people being so judgy about being in a car that stands out like this, you have to just kind of roll with it. But I figured this would be an interesting thing to note that in my experience, sometimes it's not always a positive one. And by no means do I forget like all the, the, the compliments and stuff. And I, I'm very appreciative of that stuff. But I guess the moral of the story for this quick episode is don't judge a book by its cover. I know I don't fit the picture of someone who's like financially stable. And people have told me in the comments that, oh, you're putting yourself in more debt and blah, 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 blah. And I don't talk about my finances like that on this particular channel. I did talk about how I'm paying for the car. But what I don't tell you is that like the car's paid off that I own property, that I'm an investor, heavily invested in the market, and that I don't look like a person who is financially independent. And maybe that's why I look like this, because I'm not spending money on Rolexes or, or whatever, but I like my toys. I have this car. I have the latest iPhone always. I have gadgets and stuff like that. That's where I like to put my money. But I mean, I guess again, overall, don't judge a book by its cover. And for everyone who likes to stop and stare at my car, keep staring you know my car wouldn't be doing its job if it didn't get your attention and i kind of did that intentionally but it's also because i love this color from prior service with the marine corps so you know we always had olive green with our uniform and i've noticed that the khaki or olive green trend is starting to pick up but I've always been kind of involved in it, so. But anyway, thank you for your support with everything. This channel has been growing, even though I was absent for many months, taking care of personal issues and all this stuff. But I do see you guys, and I do thank you for your support. And I will be putting out more content on a regular basis here, either in this car, or outside with the car, or however. But I'm not going anywhere, the channel's not going anywhere. And we'll get more in detail with this production, going over very specific details. At the time this video is being uploaded and published to YouTube, tomorrow will be my one year anniversary that I ordered the car. And then very shortly after will be my one year anniversary when I received this life changing, beautiful car. So if you're interested in seeing all that, subscribe, join me on this journey, like the video, let me know your thoughts. And until then, I will talk to you guys later.